This video is going to be about expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete. My name is Scott, and away we go. So what exactly am I going to talk to you about today? I'm going to talk to you about what is expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete, the characteristics of expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete, the applications of expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete, the future of expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete. So, what is expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete? Well, you're in luck, I'll tell you. It is a type of lightweight agar concrete that utilizes expanded polystyrene beads, otherwise known as styrofoam, as the lightweight aggregate material. The expanded polystyrene concrete we made consists of expanded polystyrene beads, gravel, water, sand, and Portland cement. Throughout our research, expanded polystyrene concrete was compared with conventional concrete, which worked as a comparative control batch. In order to determine the mix design of our expanded polystyrene concrete, we first calculated the mix design of 25 MPA conventional concrete, and then replaced 50% of the coarse aggregate with expanded polystyrene beads by volume. The expanded polystyrene concrete we produce has the same volume of expanded polystyrene beads as, as coarse aggregate. The latex paint was used as an adhesive to pre-coat expanded polystyrene beads in order to more effectively incorporate expanded polystyrene beads into the concrete. The expanded polystyrene concrete we produced has a density of 1800 kilograms per meter cubic which is much lighter compared to the conventional concrete with a density of 2400 kilograms per meter cubic. These lightweight features benefit the installation process and structural layout of a building, which we will talk about that later. For now, let's get into the characteristics of polystyrene lightweight concrete. In general, expanded polystyrene lightweight concrete is not as strong as conventional concrete. As for a 28 day compressive strength, expanded polystyrene concrete achieved 12.7 MPA, which is only 38% of the compressive strength for a conventional concrete control batch. One thing to point out for compressive strength testing, the compressive strength of our expanded polystyrene concrete did not increase a lot from 14 to 28 days curing period since the expanded polystyrene beads did not completely evenly distribute in the mixing process. As for a 28-day splitting tensile strength test, expanded polystyrene concrete achieved 1.5 MPA, which is about 56% of the conventional concrete control batch. For 28-day flexural strength, expanded polystyrene concrete achieved 3.8 MPA, which is 55% of the conventional concrete control batch. Okay, so one thing to point out before we begin is that expanded polystyrene concrete requires less material to be extracted from the environment in order to produce. Okay, so the expanded polystyrene concrete we produced could not be used for most housing applications since the minimum compressive strength required for residential concrete in Ontario is 15 MPA. This can be seen on the diagram to the left. But here lies the silver lining. Expanded polystyrene concrete can be used as above ground concrete masonry blocks that are not exposed to weather, as can be seen in the cutout of the Ontario Building Code on the right. Also, it can be used as backfill and structural fill by lowering the slump. We propose this to be done by further increasing the amount of expanded polystyrene beads and adding more water, which consequently would further decrease the concrete strength, thereby classifying it as a controlled low strength material. Now, all that being said, there is room for improvement. We would like to examine the use of different adhesives applied to the expanded polystyrene beads in place of paint. We would like to investigate ways to refine our mix design in order to further improve the concrete's compressive strength. We would like to use steel fibers like steel or polypropylene to increase the concrete's tensile strength. We would like to test the expanded polystyrene concrete's fire resistance, insulation value, and sound resistance. This would allow expanded polystyrene concrete to be used for a variety of applications. 
This brings us to the conclusion of our video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact myself, Scott, or my two colleagues, Shi and Oraz. Our emails are linked below. Thanks for watching.